This is the Red Magic 6R. This has got to be the most beautiful gaming phone on the market right now. Gaming phones are not well known for their looks because most of them are ugly, chunky, and uh, weird looking. But Red Magic says we gotta break that stereotype, and I think they have done it with the Red Magic 6R because I saw the design in their website and it looks really cool. It looks to be a combination of a flagship phone from Huawei or Samsung with a touch of a gaming smartphone and thus this cool looking sleek design. But yeah, it's not only the best looking but also one of the most affordable Snapdragon 88 processors. Some are saying it's the Realme GD but no, it's actually this one because it's only $500. And the thing is, the Realme GD is not even sold in the US so there you go. And But this? This is sold in the US and Canada and all parts of Europe and Asia. Red Magic has something going on here and I'm excited to unbox it right now. So without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. Okay, so the box looks kind of different from its usual big squarish box. Now, this one looks like an ordinary box from most mid-range phones. But yeah, you still got the mask slash sword kind of logo from Red Magic up the front. And at the back, you don't get anything. It's pretty simple, actually. And the configuration I got here is 12256. There's two. There's the 8128. And there's the 12256. There's also two colors, the silver and the black one. So... I got here the silver one. Let's open it up. And you're gonna get the SIM ejector pin. Here are the papers, or just the paper, the warranty card, and the jelly case. All right. Well, it's just an ordinary jelly case. You might want to order the, the better one in their website. Because yeah, for a while of use, this is gonna turn yellow. And that's gonna be dirty, so yeah. And here's the phone. Of course, it's been opened by another person. I'm just borrowing this. Oh wait, let me just check what else is in the box. Okay, so you're gonna get here a USB Type-C to a USB Type-A. It's not the CDC, just like what you'll get on the Red Magic 6. You're also gonna get this, a headphone jack dongle. So, oh no, it does not have a headphone jack. That's a bummer. Might be because it's too thin. And of course, we got here the 30 watt fast charger. Might not be as fast as the Red Magic 6, but still very fast. Here is the phone. Let me just, wow, the pictures did not disappoint. This definitely looks really cool, especially in person. The design definitely is a great departure from most gaming phones. One thing for sure is that it looks pretty normal, or rather it does not look weird. Most gaming phones look kind of ugly with their big chunky alien-like design bodies. Now this still looks like an alien-like design. You still got that circuitry right there at the sides. It's still pretty much everywhere, but at the heart of it, it just looks like a Samsung Galaxy phone. We've got here the island style camera, the sleek, sexy design, very minimalistic and clean. And you also got the chrome finish. That is nice. Look at that. When light touches it, it just shines like a diamond. Now amongst all the gaming phones they have reviewed so far, this has got to be the thinnest the lightest, the sleekest looking so far. They really wanted to make this to look like a phone that you would use as your main phone. Because usually gaming phones are just second phones for most people. Because not all gaming phone owners are making their gaming phone their main phone. Others usually use their flagship phone plus their gaming phone for their gaming needs. But what if we have the flagship phone plus the gaming phone and BAM! That is what this is. The Red Magic 6R. And if you compare it to other gaming phones such as the Asus ROG phone, Black Shark, Lenovo's gaming phones and others, they don't come close as this as being looking a bit classy. You could say that this is in the middle where it's a gaming phone and a flagship phone at the same time which probably might entice other users. Now even though the back looks kind of premium, looks kind of expensive, the back is just made out of plastic. So I think the body's made out of plastic too even though it does have some antenna bands right here really cool to the touch. I don't know. Might be metal. But yeah, you do get a plasticky feel at the back. And it's also glossy. So yeah, it's going to attract a lot of fingerprints. So yeah, better use the jelly case or just buy another one that looks much better than this on their website. Now the question is, does it have RGB lighting? Nope, it does not have RGB. This is just print. Yeah, nothing too high tech at the back. But what about the sides? Yes, we do get a pair of shoulder buttons right here, which is good news. It's still a gaming phone. It has some gaming features, but it looks like this is just haptic feedback based on vibration. It's not really physical press. Now on the middle, we get the power button and the volume rocker. On the left side, we get nothing but antenna bands. At the top, we get the microphone. And at the bottom, we get these, the loudspeaker, another microphone, the USB Type-C port, 
and the SIM tray, which as expected is only a dual nano SIM card slot. No micro SD card slot for expandability, so yeah, do get the 256 gigs version. Oh, by the way, both SIM card slots support 5G. But didn't you notice there are no ventilation holes on the phone, which were found on the Red Magic 6, which kind of helps with the heating because games like Genshin Impact are really hot. Now that is something to consider if you're choosing between the Red Magic 6 or the 6R. What about the display? Is it any good? Well, for starters, it is a gaming display, meaning the specs are impressive. It is a 1080p Full HD Plus AMOLED display with a 144Hz refresh rate, which is super fast by the way. That is right, 140Hz. How much was the Realme GT? Only 120Hz. So yeah, this is the faster display, the much smoother one. It is also super bright, up to 770 nits. It is Gorilla Glass free, and it has up to 400Hz touch sampling rate, which means it has very minimal input lag. This is very sensitive my friends. And the response time is just instantaneous. Something that you need when you're playing esports games like Call of Duty or Mobile Legends. Now speaking of Mobile Legends, we've got Share Mobile Legends playing on this phone. And it just looks fantastic because yeah, this is a special phone made specifically for games. You got a nice sharp colorful display. Oh, look at that. No lag. Just looks gorgeous. And to top things off, you also get ultra graphics right out of the box. Something that's usually missing on most phones and not even available on other flagship phones. The only drawback that I see right here is that it's just not as loud as the Red Magic 6. Yeah, the sound quality is just mediocre. Check this out. That is as loud as it gets. Like really. And it's not even stereo speakers. Just one speaker. But I am seeing that this is like steady frame rates, like 60 frames per second. Even though there's a lot of things going on on the screen. Yeah, that's a lot of busy stuff going on. And it looks like even in game space, it doesn't get any louder. It usually gets louder if you go game space, but no. Oh, by the way, if you don't know game space yet, it's like the game console mode. It is the special features of the gaming phones, like it enhances your game, overclocks the processor, gives you extra controls like the shoulder buttons at the top, and it also gives you a lot of features just like this panel right here. It kind of gives you more control of the features you might want for your game. Let's say you want to tone down the refresh rate, you can do that. You can add some aiming right here, and there you go. Even though this is not a shooter game, you can actually add a Corsair just like that, but pretty useless in Mobile Legends. It's just useful in COD or other FPS games. And my favorite, frame rate display, which lets you see the frame rate running on the phone while playing the game. I just love seeing that because it allows me to benchmark the, the phone and try to see if it actually can uh, play the game at 60 frames per second solid. And Yes, it can. 60 frames per second. Mobile Legends. And like I told you, it has shoulder buttons, which you can pretty much map anywhere on your screen, like your skills, the attack button. I'm just gonna assign it to my attack button. You can add some vibration to it. There you go. And just like that, I can attack. Look at that. I'm not even pressing the screen. I'm just pressing the shoulder button and it works. That feature right there is very helpful, especially when you have uh, some repetitive things going on in the game, like the attack button. Boom. Now this is what the game space actually looks like. It's just a virtual console within the phone, which typically makes it look like a PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch. All it shows are your games. No distractions, no Messenger, no Facebook, no WhatsApp, which is the way to go. Now, I think this is the best game to test out this phone, Call of Duty, because of this right there. No, you're not mistaken. That's right, 90 frames per second on a phone. You could be saying it's never been done before, but yeah, it was already done before with the Red Magic 6 and the Black Shark 4, and now it's available on the Red Magic 6R, and it looks really smooth. Wow, just that it's not 144 frames per second. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to use that full refresh rate on that display, but hey, this still looks stunning and it's certainly gonna serve you beyond 2021. And looking at the settings right here, it does have that special frame rate that is not usually released on other phones. This is only a special for gaming phones, which is the ultra MP mode. Only drawback is, is that it's only medium graphics when you set it to that setting, because yeah, if you go high, it goes only to max settings. So yeah, going back right here, that is how it looks like. Oh my God. Now you gotta ask yourself, should you buy this or the Red Magic 6? Well, here's the thing. Performance wise, they're, they're pretty much the same. And when you're just playing Call of Duty or Mobile Legends, there's really not much of a difference because you don't heat up anyway. It doesn't get hot. Maybe the only reason you're gonna get this is because you want to play Genshin Impact at max settings and you don't want the phone to be super uncomfortable because it's super hot. Well, that's because the Red Magic 6 is fairly better in cooling. 
nothing compared to this one. But yes, at this frame rate, I am not getting any lag. This is just the best experience in Call of Duty like ever, and I'm experiencing it right now still because I can afford it. It's not as expensive as the Red Magic 6, so there you go. And yes, like what I did earlier on Mobile Legends, you could actually have this leverage when playing this game. That's right, my friends, the mapping is working here and it's making the whole game fairly much easier to deal with while well, pressing buttons on the display is pretty okay it does take a toll on your display but frankly that's gonna minimize that risk using the shoulder buttons now the thing about the six stars that it does not have a dedicated slider to get you back to the home page or switch you back to the game space for now i think the only way to go to the game space is through here swipe down and tap game space it'll get you to to game space which is kind of a bummer because it feels less of a true gaming phone it's more of a traditional flagship phone feel for me how fast is the red magic 6r here is the n22 benchmark score i have tried it with the n22 version 9 and it gave me 814,000 points in comparison with the realme gt this is actually a little bit faster than the realme gt because the realme gt is only 700,000 plus and this went all the way to 800,000, which is a big deal and with that amount of score i think you can pretty much do what ever on the home screen, doing some social media, checking out some pictures, everything is gonna look and feel very smooth and very fast. And yes, opening apps is just gonna be super zippy as you've seen right here. It is just really super instantaneous. It does support external devices as well. It's like the Red Magic cooler right here and the Red Magic ice dock. And oh yeah, it does support external devices from Red Magic, just like the dual cooler right here, the ice dock, TWS, and so on and so forth. So yeah. All Red Magic 6 accessories should be able to work here. Well, not all, maybe just 6. Now here is the best game of 2020 for both Android and iOS. With the best graphics, best storyline, and pretty much best everywhere. As you can see, that is all in high settings, maxed out, 60 frames per second. Look at that graphics, it looks so beautiful. And the frame rates, 56, 55. Oh my god, this list looks so amazing. Now this is great news for all you Genshin Impact players out there because not a lot of phones can run this game at this frame rate. It is averaging about 54, 55 frames per second. It looks so gorgeous. It looks so smooth on this phone. I mean, not even the iPhone can play this game this smooth. Kind of tells you how much powerful this is compared to an iPhone. Snapdragon 88 processor is no joke. But the thing is, it's just, uh, it's just super hot. It's really hot right now. It is burning up. I would say that it's kind of uncomfortable when playing at this setting. Oh, look at that. It's going higher. And that, my friends, is the main reason why you will get a gaming phone that has a much better cooling system like the Red Magic 6 or the 6 Pro because you want to play this game. You want to play this game comfortably. And at this rate, it's just not really that comfortable. It's As you can see, I haven't really gotten into other areas yet where, where there are bosses or a lot of enemies. This could easily burn up. And yeah, it's really uncomfortable. And yes, that's right. I actually changed the settings to medium graphics and still it's burning up. Maybe it's that 60 frames per second. So yeah, this is unacceptable for me because it's just uncomfortable when playing Genshin Impact. Still, I would highly recommend you get a computer if you want the best graphics for this game. Or you can just play 30 frames per second right here and... That might actually make things better. Now, the great thing about this phone is that it's not only fast, not only beautiful, but it also has a very powerful camera with a 64 MP sensor. Red Magic wanted this to be the complete gaming phone because yes most gaming phones have average cameras and for the first time ever really good cameras on a gaming phone and apart from that 64 mp main camera it also has an 8 mp ultra wide angle lens a 5 megapixel macro lens and a 2 mp depth sensor and here are the pictures that i took with the phone okay i was kind of skeptical with this believing that a gaming phone could have great pictures was like i took pictures with the red magic 6r and it blew me away the pictures were just gorgeous and i think just maybe this could be comparable to an iphone 12 pro max or a samsung galaxy s21 this is what a flagship sensor kind of looks like from the sharpness the details and its low light capabilities are quite excellent just look at this hulk buster example right here you could mistake it for a dslr shot but no this was taken on a red magic 6 are my friends yeah i would say this is way better than the red magic 6 in terms of the 
overall image quality of the camera. The Red Magic 6 had a little bit of white balancing issues and the colors were not accurate, but this one looks really good. Not only accurate, but it really has depth. And I can personally see myself using this as my daily driver. The cameras are truly reliable. That is how reliable the cameras are. Also, I'm not getting any blur. And yeah, even without a tripod, I was able to get a lot of pictures consistently without blurring and consistent sharpness. Also, the night mode is just fantastic. Look at this picture right here. Oh my god, so much detail. And look at that selfie. Oh, by the way, this is a 16 megapixel selfie camera. But whoa, the selfie is just quite good. It looks quite sharp, especially in daylight. The pictures look very flattering. And the colors are just right there. It's not pink. It's not reddish, just like other cameras that I've tested, which usually happens inside my studio. Nope, none of that here. The Red Magic 6R can definitely shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second, although not the best looking one. Still, I think the best one to shoot with is 1080p, 30 frames per second. It gives you the brightest, best looking images with the right color. And from the looks of it, the stabilization is also quite good. It has EIS. They totally beefed up the camera right here. Even the camera app is beefed up. You guys hear some advanced features like the night mode, pro mode. Look at all those settings. And yeah, we've got here the camera family. There are a lot of stuff you can do with the camera right here, which is pretty promising. This is actually overkill for a gaming phone. Something that you would not expect from Red Magic. And I'm just liking where this is headed. Gaming phones with great cameras and finally good looking ones. If you're interested in buying the Red Magic 6R, you can actually buy this on their website at global.redmagic.gg. It is 8128 for $499 and 599 on the 12256. And it's probably your lucky day because this is like available pretty much everywhere now. They deliver in the US, Canada, pretty much all parts of Europe, Asia Pacific. Again, just go check out their website right here for more info on what countries they deliver to you. All right, to me, this is a goodbye. It's affordable, it looks beautiful, it's powerful, it's fast, and it's got a great camera, but it's not the best gaming phone around. Of course, it can't push Genshin Impact at its max. There are other gaming phones out there like the Red Magic 6 and the 6 Pro that can handle pretty much any game in the Play Store with better cooling, has RGB, just that if you don't play Genshin Impact at all, you might just want to consider this over its bigger brothers. They're a lot more expensive, and this might just be worth it. Do you want to see a full review of the Red Magic 6R? Let me know guys in the comments below, or if you want to see more videos just like this, awesome smartphones on my channel. All you need to do is subscribe, hit the bell icon, so that you don't miss any of my great content. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.